is Cassandra Chains. How'd you go? Multiple stab wounds. Uh, judging by the lacerations, it almost looks like a sawed off. God. She smells terrible. Well, she has been dead for eight hours. I just can never get over how bad a dead body smells. Jesus, it's rancid. I know, I'm the same way. Any leads? Well, we did find this snow. God's will be done. That's what this is. God's will. How dare this whore tempt me. She is the spawn of Satan himself. I'm not a, to blame for my actions. It was she who tempted me. The rest is impossible to read. Writing's a madman. I guess. Do we have a positive ID on the victim? Not yet. The lab boys are getting that as we speak. She looks... familiar. How so? I don't know. I just can't shake this feeling of deja vu. Long day, huh? I guess you could say that. Go home, Hoxton. Get some rest. I guess. That'd probably be for the best. Late night, huh? Jesus, Nadine, you scared the hell out of me. What are you doing up so late? To be your loving and supportive wife. Ha, ha, ha. No, seriously, though. Why are you up so late? Well, you were getting to be real late, and I started to get worried. Worried? About me? No, worried about the guy I'm cheating on you with. You're the real comedian, you know that? I try. Hey, there's no need to worry. I can handle myself. Besides, if I die, you get all of my stuff. That's what I'm worried about. It's getting late. We should probably hit the hay. You go ahead. I've still got too much caffeine in my system. Caffeine? You really think I could stay up this late without a few cups of coffee? How many? You don't want to know. Okay, dear. Good night. Oh, uh, good morning. Your shirt is buttoned wrong. Oh, so it is. Well, that's my cue. Come home at a reasonable hour today, okay? Yeah, yeah. And most importantly, have fun. I know you, Cassandra Chains, but how? Nadine, I'm home. Welcome home. And I'm not late, just like you asked. Good. I'm just here to bend your every will and need. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. It was a joke, honey. I'm gonna go to my study. Okay. Everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. That's not very convincing. Does it need to be? Yes, James, it does. Maybe, please, I'm trying to get some work done, see? No, you're right. I'll go. No, Nadine, wait, I'm I'm so I'm sorry.
this Mr. Hoxton? This is him. And, uh, who am I speaking to? Someone who can help you. Help me? Help me with what? That little Hardy Boys mystery you're working on. I work on many cases. You're gonna have to be more specific. Miss Chains. What do you know? I know where the killer fled to. There's a house on 38th and 5th. You might find one of those crazy man bulletin boards. You know, the ones with strings and pictures. How did you come by this information? Let's just say I know a guy. Where are you going, honey? Not now. Bingo. What the hell? Hello? Run. What? Now. Ah. Who's that? Fight. What? Now! Yes. Good. Okay, who the hell are you? Hoxton, Hoxton. Let's not go asking questions we don't want the answer to. But I do want the answer. Hey, honey, how do you want your eggs? The way I always have them, Nadine. Someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Why so grumpy? Not now. You can tell me. I'm your wife, James. What happened to your arm? Damn it, Nadine! You're ruining breakfast. I, I have to go. Yes, you do. Get out.
This is Hoxton. This is not. Okay, honestly, who are you? Did you ever stop to wonder how I knew so much about this case, Mr. Hoxton? Can't say I did. Think now. How could I possibly know this? You're the murderer. And the boy gets a cigar. Why are you leading me on this trail of breadcrumbs? Sometimes I get bored, Hoxton. I'm sure you understand. You're a psychopath. Say whatever you will. It'll only come back to hurt you. Are you threatening me? Do you have to ask? Listen, guy. I'll find you before you can so much as lift a finger. I'm sure you will. Near a train, huh? And the ever-resourceful detective strikes again. All right. Time's up. Come on out. Where the hell are you? I'm surprised you haven't figured that out yet. What? Hoxton, I am you. Bullshit. You really can't remember, can you? Remember what? Murdering Miss Cassandra Chains? Do you remember now, Hoxton? Miss Cassandra was a bit loose-lipped about our little affair with her. So what did we do? We killed her. No! You're a cold-blooded killer! I'm not! You psychopath. No! Wait, wait. I have nothing to say to you. I just have a few questions. I said get out. You're a damn psychopath. That may be, but I need answers. Fine, fine. Just don't shoot. What's your last name? What? Answer the damn question. Chains. Nick, Nicholas Chains. Who am I? James Hoxton. How do you know me? You can't be serious. I am. You're the bastard who's sleeping with my wife. Ugh! Ugh! Get the hell off my property. It was me, Cassandra. I did it. I'm so sorry. I can't live this way. I'm a psychopath. Go ahead. Finish it. I blocked it out of my head. I hate myself for doing that. Soon, we can be together. Hoxton! Hoxton! We need to get you to the hospital. See you in hell, Hoxton. I'll be waiting. What's this? No.
I'm so sorry, Cassandra. From what I pieced together, we were in love. But I had a wife, and you had a husband. You told them about us, and I was supposed to tell Nadine about us. But I couldn't do it. So you decided you were going to tell her yourself. I tried everything to stop you. But you still insisted on bringing Nadine into it. There was only one way to keep you quiet. I told you I'd take you to dinner, so we could talk, but I never showed. After a while, you left. I knew the route you'd take home. You were always very easy to scare. Never really were one for situational awareness, so I knocked you out with chloroform. People were coming, Cassandra. I couldn't risk it. I grabbed my knife and went to work. And I went home. Then I went to my study. Then I went mad. Everything about you was erased from my mind. I'm a psychopath, Cassandra. I don't know what's real anymore. Goodbye. We are fine, our own fine. Will you feel the desire when always struggling with the truth? Of the life that